So Darlene gets the big deal. He's part of the new era of NHL young superstars that only know about the 1990s through the history books. Frankie, it's time to play listed. Give me your top five players born in the 2000s. All right, so Connor Bedard just made our TSN top 50, so why don't we start there? Coming in at number five is going to be Connor Bedard, an exceptional talent, and the big thing I'm looking for this year, good players can survive in the league and do well, but great players make those around them better. McDavid did it, Austin Matthews did it, Connor Bedard has to do that this year. At number four, Andre Sveshnikov, the second overall pick in 2018. He was missed dearly by the Carolina Hurricanes last year after tearing his ACL. He is strong, consistent he may not have the highest ceiling but you know exactly what you're going to get with this player and I believe there's more room for him to fill the back of the net number three Rasmus Dallin he's got 88 million reasons to be happy <laughs> and thankful today Gino because it is Thanksgiving he was at his best last year the skating the evasiveness the way he can beat players at one-on-one -on -one with ease he is putting himself in the conversation with Adam Fox Hughes Haskin and, and Roman Yossi number two Tim Stutzla I love the prog progression of this guy 90 points last year, and I think he smashes through that this year. He's quickly established himself as a true number one center in the league on a team that is going to make the playoffs sooner rather than later. And at number one, Gino Jack Hughes, the first overall pick in 2019. 99 points last year. One of the 10 best players in the league this year. You can book that. And one of those guys that is going to be above 100 points for a long time to come. And the New Jersey Devils are a very good team because of him. Awesome. Top five list. Bedard made TSN's top 50 players list as you mentioned he was number 48 and now he cracks your list of the best born players born in the year 2000s and forward but Trevor Zegras was the cover of last year's NHL video game. He didn't even make your top five. No, it's just it, these guys bring more to the table as a combined game than Trevor Zegras. I love the, the wow factor. He's one of those guys that's worth the price of admission to go see. And he's certainly on the highlight reels more often than not. But these guys bring something to the table other than what they do best. They have a more complete game. And for that reason, Trevor Zegras doesn't make my top five. Very good player in his own right. I uh, think these young guns know they're worth the top four on Frankie's list of all signed new deals totally combined $280.8 million.